Lord, we thank you. Because you are God who saved us. And you gave up your life for us, Lord. And for this, we will offer our lives to you as a living sacrifice. Listening to your throne of grace, God. Honoring you and even making disciples of the nations. Let glory be glory. All glory belong to you, Jesus. Our God is the God who saves. Our God is the God who saves. Come on, sing it, church. Our God is the God who saves.
by his stripes we are healed. In Jesus' name. We are healed by his
Panginoon, kami po'y uh, nagpapasalamat na nagbibigay puri po sa inyo, Panginoon, dahil kayo po ang Diyos na nagbibigay po sa amin, Panginoon, ng victory, Lord. Nagpapasalamat kami, Panginoon, because you died on the cross for all of us, Lord. You paid, Lord God, ano po yung dapat na dapat namin bayaran, bayaran, Lord, because of our sin, Lord. But because of your love, Lord, you paid for it, Lord God. Magpapasalamat kami, Panginoon, that because of your grace, Lord, the grace that saved us, Lord, not by our good works, Lord, but because of your goodness and your love, Lord. Lord, Patuloy po kayo maghari, Panginoon, sa aming mga buhay at sa aming mga puso, Panginoon. Araw-araw, Panginoon, continue to remind us, Lord God, that kung ano mo yung mga problema na aming pang pagdadaanan, Lord, remind us, Lord God, that you are our strength, Lord, that you give us the grace, Lord, to overcome, Lord, whatever temptation, Lord, whatever sin, Lord God, whatever the things that the enemy puts us in our mind, Lord, to discourage, Lord God. Lord, give us the faith to trust and to believe in you, Lord, And that's our desire, Lord God, that every day, Lord, we want to please you, Lord God. Lord, thank you for your goodness, Lord. Lord, we continue, Lord God, to acknowledge, Lord God, that you alone, Lord, is our Savior and our Master. No one, Lord God, could complete us, Lord, but you alone, Jesus, our Savior. Thank you. Lord, we bless you even more, Lord, even in this service, Lord. We want you to be the center, Lord God, of this church, Lord. That you will be glorified every day, Lord. Even in our services, Lord. With this we pray, in Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Pwede ba rin pala pakanang ating Panginoon? Come on, let's give you praise. Let's honor Him for His goodness and His faithfulness. Ah, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our 8.30 a.m. service bago po tayo magsiupo. Can we just do this? Can we be a family here? Di ba, pagka-pamilya, di ba, welcome natin. Kinukumusta natin, lalo pagka uh, galing sa biyahe yan. Okay, so let's do that. Let's get to know people around us. Get to know them. Kahit kumustahin nyo lang sila. Okay, uh, ano ba yung uh, nangyari sa the past few weeks? Come on. morning. Welcome to our 8.30 a.m. service. And uh, uh, we're so excited. Every every morning po, every uh, every Sunday, uh, talagang uh, kami po uh, talagang uh, nagpapasalamat sa ating Panginoon because God is faithful and uh, He is good because uh, He allows us to uh, to have this time to gather and to worship Him and to honor Him. So again, we'd like to remind, okay, starting uh, February 2. Sabi mo sa katami mo, February 2. Ayun, uh, magsisimula na po yung afternoon service natin, okay? Sa ating uh, center po dun sa may tumaga po, 2.30 p.m. po. So kung may mga kilala kayo na di sila available sa morning, you could invite them sa 2.30 p.m. po natin, dun sa center po sa tumaga. Harap po ng Wincy Hospital. And I also would like also to remind uh, yung uh, mga youth dito, okay? Pag high school or college student ka, would like to invite you sa ating uh, youth service, okay? Kahapon we have... I believe uh, we have a great time sa mga uh, young people. So, nasa series po tayo ng Fearless. Okay, uh, yun po yung pinag-usapan natin. Stick and Stones, The Sun and the Five Kings. And this Saturday, I think the last, okay, Carry Your Cheese. Okay, so, so yung pag sino yung dadalo, my cheese bread. Okay, galing kay Ate Iris. Eh, joke lang. <laughs> joke lang. Okay, so yun yung series natin. So, pag may makilala kayong mga youth, you can invite them sa ating youth service. And also sa mga may anak po, kids church, meron tayong kids church po, uh, especially yung mga first time po nag-attend may mga anak kayo, you could bring them sa kids church natin, okay? Sa room 317-319-21323. So, we like to uh, also uh, encourage yung mga kids na makilala si God through uh, way yung paano, pag, iba kasi yung uh, pagtuturo natin sa adult at saka sa kids. So, maraming playtime. May uh, nasa series pa rin yata sila ng, uh, uh, ano ba yung series nila ngayon? Ah, Meron eh. Uh, pa, ano ba yung series ng kids ngayon? Superbook. Yun, superbook pa rin. Ayun, inaalala ko lang kung tama ba yung word na nasa mind ko. Superbook. So please, do invite them. Okay? So again, uh, we'd like also to encourage you if you don't have small groups. Sino ito malapang small group or victory group? Okay? 
O pag wala pa kayong victory group, you could invite uh, or ask mga leaders natin, especially mga sa Get Connected, you could ask them paano ba makonect sa small group. Okay? So, madalo tayo sa ating uh, pagbibigay ng ikapong ngayong uh, morning. Okay? How many of you are excited to receive the blessing of God this day? Okay? Sabi po sa 2 Corinthians chapter 8, okay, verse 12, sabi dito, For if the willingness is there, the gift is acceptable according to what one has, not according to what he does not have. Actually, You know, it's very important, po, especially the word willingness. Uh, the other word of willingness is readiness, okay? The quality or being prepared, okay? Or yung desire natin. Actually, narimind din ako sa Bible, that uh, the Bible says, di ba? Delight yourselves in the Lord and He will grant the desires of your heart. I believe all of us may mga hinihiling tayo kay God. We are praying, it could be healing, it could be financial breakthrough, it could be restoration of relation. You know what? What is important is we put God first. Not ano yung gusto natin? Diba? The Bible says, delight yourselves in the Lord that He will grant the desires of your heart. As we honor Him in our finances, no, let's honor Him what is due to Him. Let's, let's uh, obey His word. Ano yung sinasabi niya sa inyo? And let's have faith to believe and to trust in Him. Alam po natin, sabi niya sa Bible, sa tao daw, uh, maraming mga bagay na imposible ng kwento, pero sa ating Panginoon, lahat po posible. Okay? Sa inyong upuan po, we could uh, put your uh, tithes and offering. Please do write your prayer request. We are here to stand with you in prayer and believe Believing God for breakthroughs po sa family niyo. It could be sa personal life niyo po. So, before po tayo magbigay, let's uh, have a word of prayer. Panginoon, nagpapasalamat kami, Panginoon, sa opportunity again, Lord, to give, Lord, especially yung desire namin, Lord God, to honor you first, Lord, in everything that we do, Lord. I pray, Father, that we will continue to, Lord, put you first, Lord, that we will be prepared also, Lord God, and be ready, Lord God, to receive the blessing that you have for us, Lord. Lord, We ask, Father, for your grace every day, Lord God, that we will continue to fix our eyes on you, Lord God, that we will continue to put our hope in you, Lord, because you are faithful, Lord God, to your promises. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We just want to welcome everyone to Victory. Um, we're glad that you're here this morning. I'm Romel, one of the pastors of Victory. Uh, we just, uh, me and my wife just came from uh, Dipolog, and uh, we had a very vibrant church there. Talagang nakakatawa, no? We attended the church, and uh, na-minister din kami doon. And then, uh, very uh, dynamic church yung Dipolog, and yung progress of Dipolog grabbed din talaga. Along the way, um, ang daming mga hindi natin ina-expect. Alright, may mga timeline kami, but at the end of it, uh, dumating kami sa Dipolog, gabi na. <laughs> ang daming dinaanan. Nag-picture-picture pa. Anyway, um, we just want to welcome everyone today. Alam po natin that we are in our second week of our series fight. Uh, can you say the word fight? Fight. So, pwede ba convincing yung word fight? <laughs> Ayun. Di ba? Aja. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> now, um, last week I believe uh, it's the cause of, of, yung title natin is about the cause. No? That the enemy would always put a set up on us. And the very reason why also God put a set up in the middle of the garden so that we have an opportunity to please Him. Okay? And sometimes, diba, nakikita natin yung, yung experience ni Adam and Eve, nakikita nila siguro yung the middle of the garden lang, but not seeing the big picture that God provided everything for them around the garden. And sometimes temptation is like that. Sometimes yung fight natin is like that. But today I'll be uh, talking about uh, the experience of Jesus the fight, the location of our battle. And I believe all of us have our own battle. Meron tayong goal in life. And we have a goal also. Uh, ngayong year 2014, sino bang may mga goal dito? Okay, you're praying, you have a list. We just concluded our five days prayer and fasting uh, last week, if I'm not mistaken, no, last week, Friday. And uh, during that time, there were testimonies of healing. Testimonies of breakthroughs, testimonies of changed lives, and testimonies of good of the goodness and the faithfulness of God in their lives. And I believe some of you here, may mga testimony mo dito, meron mga dito, uh, alam nyo na gabi si Lord, no? nakikita nyo yung faithfulness ni Lord sa buhay nyo. And even yung mga tao sa tahanan natin, di ba? Uh, ngayon, uh, we're live po sa ating e-media, Channel 26, at saka sa Ustream TV. We just want to uh, extend our good morning to you. And even as we look at this passage, sa Luke chapter 4, verse 1 to 12, pwede ko bang anyanyahan lahat to please stand up as we read this passage of Scripture? Chapter 4, verse 1 to 12. It says here, Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, left the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and at the end of the, them, he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. The devil led him up to the high place and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all their authority and splendor. It has been given to me. And I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will all be yours. Verse 8, Jesus answered, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. The devil led him to Jerusalem, had him stand on the highest point of the temple. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you to guard you carefully. Verse 11, they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Okay. Verse 12, Jesus answered, it is said, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Lord Jesus, thank you so much even for this morning. I pray for your sovereign power and grace, O God, to be with us. And even as we look at this passage of scripture, I pray that we will not just learn from it, but it would change our lives. Lord, thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, you may be seated. Thank you so much. Uh, as I mentioned a while ago, that all of us have our own battle. And I believe all of us fought, okay? 
our battles in the past. Dati, siguro, ah, ito yung battle mo, tapos pinaglalaban mo talaga, talagang merong fight went on in the past, and you were successful. Naging successful ka during the time. But at the end of it, at the end of the day, na-realize mo na it was a wrong location. You won the battle, but it's not your battle, and it's not that the battle that God has for you. And dito makikita natin, dito, in the story of Jesus Christ, that the devil, okay, Satan, all right, putting accusation and deceiving Jesus and putting words, okay, in the mind of Christ for him to be able to, yung parang, oh, magda-doubt siya of the calling that the, the Father has for him. All of us may have tried to hit the target at some point. Lahat tayo, like for example, no, um, have you watched a basketball game? Meron ba dito? Uh, naglaro ba kayo ng soccer game din? Alright, so, like, yung soccer and yung basketball game, meron silang goal. Merong target. Now, if you're playing basketball, if you shoot to your own goal, or, di ba, not to the goal of your enemy, kaninong puntos? Sa enemy pa rin. Di ba? Sa soccer, ganun din. Kung ito ka, you're positioning towards your enemy or your opponent, tapos nag-goal ka dito sa side mo, kaninong puntos sa enemy. And sometimes, di ba, sa sobrang excited natin, nakakalimutan natin, yung goal pala natin is up ahead of us. Alright? And, and now, 2014, alam ko that people are hoping for something. People are believing for something great to happen in their lives. People are believing for the, a grand breakthroughs for their lives. But missing out, di ba, the goal of God in them. I believe God is a purpose where you are right now. Do you believe that? Diba? Saan ka ngayon may purpose si Lord? And, and yung goal mo, dapat naka-attach yan to the purposes of God in your life. And sometimes, pag meron tayong goal and we want to achieve that goal, tapos gagamitin natin yung sariling lakas lang natin, sariling muscle natin, eventually, at the end of the day, you'll get frustrated. For example, nakascore yung opponent mo, tapos last one, second sa basketball or sa, sa soccer. After that, wala ka ng opportunity to strike back. Anong mangyayari? You will get frustrated. Whew! Sakit! Sayang! Ang daming missed. Sana, tas you begin to collect, you begin to rewind kung ano yung nangyari. Dapat doon ka nakaposisyon. Dapat ito yung ginawa natin. We begin to assess situation. Right? Ina-assess natin. It's good to assess. But sometimes, when we use our own strength, don't tayo na purpose Why not align our goals to the purposes of God? And sometimes, when we have goals, the enemy will attack not our goals, but will attack our mind. Now, the location of battle is not in the physical, as we seem to know. It's not in the natural, as we seem to know, but in our mind. Diyan yung location ng battle. Akala natin na ito, battlefield, talaga sa ground. But first, here. Sabi nga nila, may pathways daw tayo. Kung ano yung kinaugalian natin, yun yung ginagawa natin. Kung saan tayo naging successful before, ito yung ginagawa natin. Kasi it was proven. But how many you believe that everything changed? Everything progress. Everything, yung parang uh, talagang moving forward. And if you're not, di ba, in tune, with the word of God, may iwan tayo. The battle is in the mind. Diyan po tayo, dito po tayo i-atakihin ng enemy. Uh, kausap ko po yung isang businessman kahapon, and they were constructing something, tapos po yung nag-uusapan namin, grabe pala, no? Mas stressful yung ikaw yung nag-iisip kaysa yung ikaw yung nag-co-construct. Yung nagka-carpentero, pupunta lang doon, mag-aantay ng instruction, o oh, sige, anong gagawin namin, sir? O ito gawin mo, gagawin nila. Then all day, okay na. Pero kung ikaw yung nag-iisip, grabe yung stress. And he can identify with that. Sobrang stressful. So, grabe talaga yung target, sabi niyan. Way, way, behind na daw sila. This is stress. Kasi ito yung target. Okay, yung mind natin. And the enemy targeted Jesus through his mind. Now, how you think affects what you believe. What you believe affects how you behave. Ibig sabihin, 
what you believe affects how you live. All right? So if you believe na bawal magwalis paggabi, kahit na marumi na yan, kahit na mabaho na yan, hindi ka magwawalis. Tama ba yun? If you believe na talagang bawal kumain ng kuwit ng manok, yung minimension ni Pastor Richie dati, kasi ito yung kinaugalian, ito yung pathways before, kasi ito yung sabi ng nanay niya, hindi natin alam pala yung nanay natin kung makain ng kuwit ng manok kasi yun yung gusto nila. Yung iba, hindi masarap yung mata ng isda. Sino ba dito pinag-aagawan niyo yung mata ng isda? Kung meron kayong isang malaking isda, eh, tapos siguro 5 kilos siya, dalawa lang pong mata nun. Kaya kami magkakapatid dati, pinag-aawayan po namin yung mata. <laughs> Akin yun, natin tatlo kami magkakapatid. Bibili ng isang, isang, isang malaki, tapos yung mata pinag-aagawan. Alright, how you think affects what you believe. What you believe affects how you behave in life. Now, in this message, we will all realize that the battle is in the mind. And what we allow into our minds will affect our actions and soon enough ruin our relationship with Jesus Christ. All right? So, whew, grave. And let's look at this. Let's look at this. Uh, as we look at Luke chapter 4, we will also discover how Jesus Christ encountered with Satan has a parallel pattern also with how Adam and Eve encounter with the serpent, okay, in Genesis chapter 3. All right, number one, okay, the mind is the entry point of temptation. Do you agree with that? Everything starts here. Of course, nakikita natin, but everything starts here. Sabi nga nila, yung sin starts here. Of course, sa mata, di ba, nakikita natin, but it, it is generated here. The Bible says that even in our thoughts, we sin. Nakakasala tayo. We can, yung mind natin can generate 10,000 thoughts in a day. Wow, enormous. Sobrang dami. 10,000. And how many of those 10,000 thoughts pleasing kay Lord? Di ba? So, siguro, ah, pastor, 50%. Meron ako kikilala, tinanong ko siya niyan. Sabi niya, siguro pastor, 10% lang yung pleasing, yung 90 siguro, hindi. <laughs> Garbage lahat. Alright? And, and, and all of us can relate to it. And as we look at this, Luke chapter 1, verse 4, basahin natin, verse four, 1 to 4, Jesus, full of the Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the desert, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days. And at the end of them, he was hungry. Gutom po Jesus, because he was fasting. The devil said to him, if you are the Son of God, tell this stone to become bread. Jesus answered, it is written, man does not live by bread alone. Alright, temptation are inevitable. What's the best temptation? The greatest temptation when you are hungry? Food. Now, knowing that during their time, no, yung mga rock dun sa Judean desert, okay, yung formation ng rocks are like loaf breads. Na mayro pang garlic sa taas, and cinnamon. Ganun yung formation ng mga rocks based on history. And the, the devil trying to tempt, okay, Jesus, if you are the son of God, why don't you turn this stone into bread? Jesus was fasting. But Jesus answered through the word of God. You know what? Ang nakakatuwa dito because Jesus is the best example of how to counterfeit temptation. Temptation is around us. The more mature you ask, the greater temptation. Tingnan natin dito, Jesus was full of the Spirit. Hindi siya weak during this time. And sometimes, when we are in our peak, in our summit of our spiritual life, doon yung temptation. Andyan, tinitempt ka, and walang temptation na hindi maganda. Kaya nga, temptation, like for example, food. Okay? Sa, sa mga may high blood, wala kita ng food. Pag Pasko, talagang grabe yellowish or brownish, tapos crunchy-crunchy pa, whoo, inom na lang ako ng medicine after. Ay ba? Eh, I believe all of us can relate to it. Pag pipila sa, <laughs> sa buffet area, ang iba, nagsishortcut, doon muna ako sa lechon. Ito masarap to. Palatable, enjoyable. Pero sabi ng doktor, Sir, dahan-dahan lang po tayo sa lechon. 
yung puso po natin. Right? And Jesus was confronted with temptation. And the devil used food to tempt Jesus. But Jesus realized that the bread of life is more important than the bread that the enemy is offering him. The word of God, mas importante po yung word ni Lord compared to that temptation that Satan is offering to Jesus. The same way with us. Sometimes, not just sometimes, but many times, ang daming temptation that comes our way, but we have to realize that the word of God has the power to counterfeit temptation. And that's the best example of Jesus. Jesus okay, encountered Satan, but defeated Satan to the word of God. He quoted it, and he said, the word of God is more important. Man does not live by bread alone, but by the word of God. If the enemy tempts us to be led away from Christ, the word of God reassures us of our life in Christ. Yung life natin in Jesus Christ. Number two is this. The mind is the entry point of deception. Hindi lang yung temptation, but yung deception. And the enemy has a scheme. Ibig sabihin, kung siya, no? ito yung mastercraft ng enemy. If the enemy cannot tempt you, he will go to his next strategy. Anong gagawin niya? To deceive you. To put words. To let you see. This is better than this. Iyon yung gagawin ng enemy. In verse 5 to 8, sabi dito, the same chapter, Luke chapter 4, the devil led him up to the high place and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And he said to him, I will give you all their authority and splendor for it, it has been given to me and I can give it to anyone I want to. So if you worship me, okay, it will all be yours. Jesus answered, it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. This is a deception. The, the, the enemy did not say that you worship me. The enemy said that if you worship me. And, and kung nakikita natin dito, Jesus knew that He has the kingdom of God. And the enemy, oh, siguro, nakalimutan niya na Jesus is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Alam niya na merong higher dominion and calling Jesus has. And he deceived Jesus. The devil did not tell Jesus, worship me, in verse 7, but he just said a conditional statement. If you worship me, I will all be your, it will all be yours. It was a lie from the enemy to Jesus. So the enemy would always put lies in us. It could put lies in our situation. Na pag na-deceive tayo, pag nahuli tayo doon sa bait ng enemy, mahulog na tayo doon. And we will not be able to pursue and finish the race that God has for us. I believe no, all of us, lahat po tayo, meron tayong fight and merong race mark for all of us. Regardless of our position, regardless of our stature, regardless of our background, Doctor kaman, sundalo kaman, police kaman, accountant kaman, owner of the company. Okay, God has marked a race and God has put a fight that we can fight. Man, we can have a good fight of faith. That's the promise of the Bible because God will appropriate every gift, gifting needed para tayo okay, ma-overcome natin yung whatever battles that we have. And the enemy would always Alright, use our mind. Instill lies and instill deception sa utak po natin. We have a great God. If the enemy will deceive us, okay, the word of God secures us of our destiny. If the enemy deceives us, the word of God secures us of our destiny. Go back to the Word of God. If the world will say this, what does the Word of God say about your situation? If you have sickness, you have disease, if the world will say, ito ka na, wala ka na, 
Di ba? What does the word of God says about your situation? If you are bankrupt or if you are praying for breakthroughs and the world will say hey, the economy is not good, but what does the word of God says about his economy? As we delight ourselves in the Lord, the Bible says that he will give the desires of our hearts. Delighting means enjoying in the presence of God. Enjoying, okay, worshiping Him, serving Him. Kaya minsan nakaka-prostrate pag yung focus natin yung blessing eh. At the end of the day, pag wala pang blessing, Lord, bakit wala pa? Pero yung, if yung focus natin is the will of God in our lives, ano bang pinapagawa ni Lord sa akin this time? While waiting for that blessing. Kung yung focus natin si Jesus, hindi tayo mag-prostrate. Why? He can do all things. Kaya po niya lahat. Wala pong imposible sa kanya. The enemy will deceive us that we have to do this and we have to do that so that we can get this. Alright? The enemy would offer to deceive us, offer something bigger than our lives. But let me tell you today, God's destiny is bigger than what we can think or imagine. If the enemy deceives us, the word of God secures us of our destiny. How many believe that you have a destiny? God has a purpose for you. Meron tayong destiny. Meron tayong purpose. And you have to grab a hold of it and not lose grip on it. Lord, alam ko ito yung destiny ko. Ito yung sabi ng word ni God. Lord, hindi ko bibitawan to. Lord, i-claim ko to. And the enemy will deceive us like Adam and Eve. Diba? The enemy put words. Yung serpent put words. Additional words. Na if you can, you, if you will eat it, okay, you will know, diba? This and you'll be better. You will have wisdom and all. And he put, the enemy, the serpent put words. And the same way with the devil here. If you will worship me, I will offer to you the kingdom. Wow. Ganda ng offer, ano? But Jesus knew that the kingdom of heaven is far, far greater than the kingdom that the enemy has offered to him. If the enemy deceives us, the word of God secures us of our destiny. Number three, the mind is the entry point of accusation. Three prong pa niyan, no? Yung devil. Diba? Ito yung fight natin in our minds. Yung battlefield natin sa otak. Dito tayo minsan na defeat Not physically, right? not emotionally, but in our mind. Sinasabi sa atin, ah, kasi ikaw ganito ka, you're good for nothing. Ah, wala kang kwenta. The Bible says ito, basahin natin in, in Luke chapter 4, verse 9 to 12. The devil led him to Jerusalem and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, I, he said, throw yourself down. From here, okay, where it is written, he will command his angels concerning you to guard you certainly or carefully. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. Jesus answered, it says, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Do not put the Lord your God to the test. So, man, the enemy would put lies and the, sometimes if he cannot deceive us, if he cannot accuse, uh, uh, put words or deceive us or yung first kanina, tempt us, he will definitely accuse us. How many of you here, you've been accused in the past? I'm raising my hand. How many of you? All of us. It can be Physically, it can be uh, verbally, or it can be people thinks of you this way. And sometimes, if you naiisip natin yon na somebody accuse me of this, or somebody accuse you of that, sometimes you slow down. And sometimes, ang dami mo lang iniisip. Di ba? And, and let me tell you today, the Bible promised that in Christ, there's no more condemnation. When you are, di ba, sincere enough and ask God for forgiveness, the Bible says that He is, He is faithful. Can you say the word faithful? Can you say the word faithful? And just to forgive us. If it's been the oldest gone, 
and the new has come. And what the enemy will do, even does to us, is that the enemy's weapon is to remind us. Nire-remind po tayo sa ating past. Kasi ganito ka, you're good for nothing, you don't amount to anything, ah, wala kang kwenta. Kaya minsan, sometimes, ang hirap mag-share sa mga tao na sobrang close sa'yo. Ang mag-anak mo, sino dito ang hindi can relate to me? Kasi kilala tayo since birth. But if they will see the change in us, okay, it would speak volume in their lives as well. Accusation is another battle in our mind. The devil led him to Jerusalem. Jesus, kung tatalong ka dyan, sige na, subukan natin. Talon ka. Yung angels naman, isa-save ka. Pero what did Jesus said? Do not put your God to the test. Every time the enemy accuses you of things you did in the past and already of the past, remember what the Bible says. There is now no condemnation. Be reminded of that. Over and over again, there's no more condemnation. God answers to the guilt, sabi ni Stephen Paul. God answers to the guilt is that He justifies His elect through Christ. Meditation, or mediation rather, on our behalf. Right, on our behalf. The Bible says in, in Romans 12 verse 2, they were not conforming any longer to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. God is renewing us. Hindi naman yung parang na-renew yung mind natin na nakaharap ka sa salamin na, Lord, gabi, Lord, ang ganda ko. Lord, ang gwapo ko. Every day, ganun yung sinasabi mo, no? Conditioning yon. Sometimes yung conditioning, di ba? Uh, may mga athlete tayo yun yung ginagawa. Kinukondisyon nila. Yung mind nila. Sige, I will win, I will win, I will win. But the word of God planted in our mind is more powerful than conditioning our mind to win. Go back to the word of God and marinate His word in your mind. May nakilala po ako, sabi niya na one pastor um, advised him. He was struggling then before. And ito yung advice ng pastor sa kanya. I cannot relate what you're going through right now, but there's one thing that I want you to do. When you reach home, magbasa ka ng Biblia. Araw-arawin mo. I-marinate mo yung utak mo ng word ni God. Every time you're tempted, go back to the word of God. Every time may accusation, ganito ka, go back to the word of God. Every time ito yung sinasabi, go back to the word of God. You will find strength when God renews your mind. Colossians 3, 2, set your mind on the things above, not on the earthly things. Alright? Focus. Fix our eyes on Jesus. Our mind should be directed to Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. Hindi lang po siya mind setting, but it's a faith issue. By faith, we believe, as we marinate our mind with the word of God, accusation will fail. And that's one weapon of the enemy. Plant accusation in us for us to be able or for us to slow down in doing the purposes of God in our lives. If the enemy accuses God or us, anong gagawin natin? God's word reminds us of the truth. Ano ba yung katotohanan? Ano ba yung sinasabi ng word ni God? Okay, you can always find destiny. You can always find love in the word of God. 1 Peter 5.8 Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Yung enemy po natin is like a roaring lion. Okay, ibig sabihin, wala na siyang power. Just roaring. Ra, ra, ra. Ra, ra, ra. Ra, 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 parang kanta, no? It's just roaring, but they're defeated already. In Romans 8, verse 5, those who live according to the sinful nature have their mind set on what the nature desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their mind set on what the Spirit desires. Philippians 4, 8, finally, brothers, ito yung dapat titingnan natin. Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, Whatever is lovely, okay, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. 
Alright? If yung dapat isipin natin sa pang-araw-araw. Alright? More than anything, let us not forget that before Jesus was tempted, the Bible says that He was full of the Spirit. Okay? Hindi po tayo exempted if you think that you are a strong Christian. Alright? Na hindi ka na matem. All the more, you have to connect with people around you to pray for you, to cover you, and to connect yourself to the Word of God, which is Jesus Himself. The Word became flesh. Luke chapter 4, verse 13. When the devil had finished all these tempting, he left him until on an opportune time. Alam niyo po? Every temptation has an end. Every temptation has an end. The enemy surrendered. I cannot push through with this. I'm defeated already. Okay, every battle in our mind has an ending. Okay, when we feel with God's word, yung ating utak. Alright? Mag surrender yung enemy. Hindi po tayo. If there's one thing I want us to remember today, out of the many things that I've mentioned, is this. Only God's word can liberate us from the lies, deceptions, and accusations of the devil. Liberate means, man, we have the freedom. Okay? Freedom to say no. Okay? To the temptation, no to the lies, no, and come against accusations of the enemy. Adam was tempted in the garden, but failed, and so was thrown into the wilderness. But Christ was led into the same wilderness, so we can get back into the garden. Amazing. It's my prayer for all of us as we move on forward ngayong 2014 that we will be full of the Spirit and be led by the Spirit and God's Word will be evident in our lives. I just want to pray for all of you today. Can we just bow our head this morning? Lord, thank you, God, even for your example that, Lord, we can counterfeit, we can defeat the lies, that we can defeat the deception, that we can defeat, Lord God, the accusations of the enemy. Lord, alam po namin that, Lord, it's so hard if our mind is being attacked. Lord, I pray that you would even sanctify us as Romans 12 says that we will not conform any longer to the patterns of this world but be transformed by the renewing of our mind you would just put our hands on our head as a gesture of faith my prayer is that may the mind of Christ our Savior live in you from day to day by His love and power controlling all you do and say. May the Word of God dwell richly in your heart from hour to hour so that all may, may see you triumph only through His power. May the peace of God, our Father, rule your life in everything. That you may be calm comfort sick and sorrowing may the love of Jesus fill you as the water fills the sea him exalting self abasing may you run the race before you strong and brave to face the fall looking only unto Jesus as you onward go May His beauty rest upon you as you seek the lost to win. And may they forget, you forget the channel seeing only Jesus. Lord, thank you so much, God, that you are renewing our mind. You are putting your words in our mind that every time we are being accused. We're being tempted. And Lord, we're being deceived. 
your words are ready to counterfeit whatever attacks of the enemy. Lord, we come against any lies. We come against any depression. Even right now, I pray, if there's someone who's depressing right now, we come against it. We come against any stress, Lord God. If we're feeling stressed, thinking of many things, Lord, I pray that we will focus on you alone. Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. Lord, thank you so much that in you we can experience victory. The Lord, thank you so much that in you we can be victorious. Lord, thank you so much that through your word we can be liberated from the lies, deception, and accusation of the devil. Lord, fill our minds with your word, saturate it. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. You know, when we started the series, uh, fight series, I think I, I also mentioned uh, bangkit ka po na the enemy really has no power over us except the power that we let him have over us. So Genesis chapter 3, even in the story of Jesus, the best that he could do was really talk to us. So every day po, we have a choice. God always has a vote for you and the enemy has a vote against you. And the deciding vote is who will you listen to and whose side are you on? So I hope every day po meron tayong uh, chance to fill our minds with God's word. Kaya pala we are to meditate on it day and night. So that we can recognize pagka yung enemy po is trying to tempt us. Yung enemy po kasi sometimes ino-offer niya sa atin. Pinapakita niya sa atin na parang mas maganda yung ino-offer niya compared to what God has to offer. Parang yung promises na Lord wala pa, eto nandyan na. Okay, take mo na yan. He will also deceive us saying, yung sinabi ni Lord, hindi totoo yun. Wala ka namang mangyayari sa yung masama. Surely you will not die. So he take mana yon, and he will he will make us doubt God, God's word. And uh, not only that, you know, talagang he will accuse God. Sabi niya, wag ka maniwala kay God, wag ka magtrust kay God. And then uh, he can use a lot of things to discourage us, to deceive us, to tempt us, to accuse God before us, and blame God. Can you imagine yung sinabi ng enemy? Talon, di ba sabi ng word? He will command his angels to stop you. Tapos pag may nangyari sa'yo, sabi, oh, tinan mo, kasalanan ni God. <laughs> Lulokayin ka muna niya para gumawa ka ng hindi tama tapos i-blame si God for the consequences. But God is such a good God. Yan in uh, 1 John, it says there that Jesus came to destroy the works of the evil one. And it's our prayer that we will all experience the victory that we have in Christ. That what Christ has to offer, makita po natin, it's so much better than what the enemy is offering to us. That the truth of God's word is so much more appealing and trustworthy than the lies and the deceptions that he is giving us. And not only that, we can all come to the conclusion that God is really worth trusting and worth obeying. You know, today po is our communion Sunday. And uh, I like that part when we sang a while ago, yung sa victor's crown, that death uh, could not defeat him. For he wear the victor's crown. Actually, habang nag-worship po tayo, I was really close to uh, tears. Okay? Medyo naiyak. Yung mga lalaki po kasi hindi umiiyak. Pinapawisan lang yung mata. Okay? So, medyo, you know, hold natin yung iyak natin. But for me, it was a great reminder that 2,000 plus years ago, Jesus defeated the enemy and destroyed the works of the enemy so that we can experience the victory. So that we can experience victory over the works of the enemy. And uh, I know, sing iba po siguro sa atin, maybe we've been living our lives for many years under the temptation of the evil one. Minsan, alam na natin nakakasama sa atin, pero hindi natin maayawan. Minsan, may mga lies yung enemy. Alam natin mali, pero pinaniniwalaan pa rin natin. Ba't ba tayo nagpapaloko minsan? No? Hindi lang minsan, madalas. Paulit-ulit pa. Okay? And may mga times na parang 
Alam naman natin na si God dapat yung puntahan natin, pero bakit si God pa yung iniiwasan natin? Because we listen to the accusations of the enemy. And I want us to be reminded of what Christ did for us. And that's why we're gonna partake of communion today. The ushers will be distributing the communion elements. And uh, let's uh, grab a hold of these elements. We're going to partake of this together. But before that, I want us to get our hearts ready. I want us to be reminded of the goodness of God and the greatness of God and what He did for us 2,000 years ago. Yung participating in a communion pa is more than just a ritual. It's more than just uh, taking a piece of bread and, and drinking uh, uh, from the cup. But it's actually saying, when we partake of communion, we are saying, God, I believe that the bread of life is more important than the bread that the world could offer. And that you are the bread of life. It is also declaring that, God, I thank you. That you are the, not just the life, but you are also the truth. And I can trust you and I can believe in you and, and that God can break the lies of the enemy. Are also believing in His way. Because He is the way, the truth, and the life. And that what Jesus did is that He opened the way for us. Like what Pastor Ramel shared in the last part of the message. You know, Adam was ejected from the garden and was led to the wilderness because of disobedience. But Jesus, through His obedience, followed the Father to the wilderness to face the enemy and defeat him so that we could find our way back into the garden in a place where we can experience the fullness and the greatness of God. Let's just meditate on this song and we'll partake of communion together. You will always fight for heaven's angels on all stand. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you, the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Lord Jesus, we believe and we declare that you are the bread of life bread that came from heaven and your body was broken for us so that we could partake of the life that you offered. Naniniwala po kami, Lord God, that what you offer is so much better and greater than what the world can offer to us. And Lord, as, well, as we partake of this communion, 
Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would release what you purchased for us. Lord, the life that you have intended for us, Lord, a full life, a blessed life. And I pray, Lord, that you would even reassure us, God, of the gift of eternal life that you offer to anyone who believes in you. Lord God, will not perish but have eternal life. And we thank you, Lord, that this is all not because of what we've done or what we can do, but this is all because of what you've done for us. And from now on, Lord, it's not about what we can do for you, but it's all about what you can do through us. So I pray, Lord, that you would fill us with your life. Fill us, Lord, with your power that we may live our lives to the fullest for your glory and for your glory alone. We thank you, Jesus, and we are forever grateful. Let's partake of the bread. the same way after supper he took the cup saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me for whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes Lord Jesus maraming salamat po Lord God for what you have done not only was your body broken for us but you shed your blood for us alam po namin Lord God that it's through the shedding of blood that our sins can truly be forgiven so, Lord, as we partake of this cup, which is a reminder, Lord God, of your sacrifice on that cross. Lord, I pray that you would wash away every guilt and shame and condemnation. Pinagsisihan po namin, Lord God, ang lahat ng mga kasalanan namin, Lord. Pati yung mga many times na nag in po kami sa temptation, Lord God. And instead of trusting that what you have to offer is so much better. Lord, forgive us, Lord, for doubting you, Lord, and entertaining the deception and the lies of the enemy. Cleanse our thoughts, Lord. Remove every root and every seed of lies and deception that the enemy has placed over us. More importantly, Lord, humingi po kami ng tawad, Lord God, for thinking of you, things that are untrue. Lord, that you could not be trusted, Lord, that you are not good that you are not able and that you are not great. Lord, mula ngayon, Lord God, ayaw na po namin pakinggan ang mga accusations and lies of the enemy. Lord, we don't want to blame you, Lord, for the wrong things that we have done and the consequences of our actions. Lord, we don't want to blame you, Lord, sa mga ginagawa po ng enemy sa buhay po namin, Lord God. The enemy is the one who's stealing, killing, and destroying. But you came to give us life, a full life, a blessed life. So, Lord, I pray, Kung ano man po yung mga ninakaw ng enemy sa buhay po namin, Lord. Our relationship with you, our joy, our peace. Lord, I pray that you would restore it. Lord, kung ano man po, Lord God, ang pinatay ng enemy, Lord God, sa buhay po namin, ang potential namin, your purposes, your plans, I pray that you would resurrect it, God. At kung ano po, Lord God, ang dinidestroy ng evil one, Lord, I pray that you will rebuild it, Lord God. Na mula po ngayon, Lord, ang buhay po namin, Lord, para sa inyo lang, Lord, and we are forever grateful for all that you've done. As we partake of this cup, Lord, let the cleansing power of your Holy Spirit fill us to overflowing. And fill us, God, with your Spirit. That like you, Lord God, we will be led by you, Lord. We will be full of your Spirit and we will be empowered by you. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you've done. Let's just partake of the cup. So we just need to worship the Lord. Just make this our declaration. At the cross, the work was finished. You were buried in the ground. But the grave could not contain you. For you were the victor's
Let's give a clap of praise to our great God, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, God, for your word, Lord. Thank you, God, that you are faithful, Lord. Indeed, Lord, thank you. Lord, we pray, Father, as a church, Lord, that we will continue to honor you. That we will continue, Lord, God, to do your will, Lord. Lord, dalangin din po namin din, Panginoon, sa lahat ng mga nanonood ngayon, Lord, sa kanilang mga bahay po, Lord. We pray, Father, that you continue to touch them, especially, Lord God, maybe some of them, Lord God, believing for restoration of relationship, even healing, Lord God. Lord, we pray, Father, we declare, Lord God, your goodness and your faithfulness, even the healing power, Lord God, to heal sicknesses and diseases, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, bless you po yung mga pamilya po nila, Lord God, even the people around here right now, Lord, that will continue, Lord God, Lord, to honor you, Lord, that we will continue to love you, Lord God, with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength, Lord. We continue to declare, Lord God, that you alone is our great God, who is so faithful and so loving. We bless you and we honor you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Wow. Okay, please uh, be reminded next Sunday, uh, please be early and uh, please do uh, invite your families and friends, okay, and also be connected to our victory group. God bless you.